Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to some more The Walking Dead, a new frontier. I might sneak sometimes in the previous episode, we found Clementine, who was from the first two seasons of this game. In this episode, we are going to check out this little installment and see what the bartender and everyone else is up to. So, let's go check out some stuff. Ooh, some chess sets. What is this? Chess. Not really my game. It's more about the checkers, dude. Play, though. Here are you. Card players, Excuse okay. Me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I'm Javier, dude. What's up? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what is worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Dang, dude, that sucks. Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. Past is the past. Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. No way, oh, really? What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm. Uh. Yo, baby. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over. <laughs> Is that a fact? Yes. <laughs> right, I think I'll listen to me. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty crap? He won. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, oh, baby. Hell yeah. Told nice. you. Well, calm down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, hun. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> turpentine, That's really? the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Clem, no! Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. Kill him! I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Yes. Because <laughs> I don't scare easy, all right? And I don't respond to threats, neither. All right, man, I'll yeah, right. take you on. So you better figure out a way to fix this. And I mean real fast. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. <sighs> I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, I'm fucking believable. Look out! Really, man? Cutting my eye open? Seriously? This is not cool, man. Freaking bullets that were not even working. So messed up. Hey, listen, let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. Oh no, she's good. No she's good. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right. So, hey, we'll we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. She actually did it. Oh god. Stop the gun. Right now, he Conrad. I'm sorry. He's going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because. Shut it. You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there, and you're firing off a fucking. What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi. Okay, it was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Why well, yes. Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do Whoa. with you. Oh, hey, Seriously? Hey, Are you for real? As real as it gets. 
Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. It's uncalled for. Yo, we're locking you up for no reason, boy. Come on. Come on. I didn't do nothing. Let me out of this joint. I didn't do anything wrong. I to punch your <laughs> fucking lights out. Both of you. He attacked me first, you though. I was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. Anything for you, Clem? That was, um, that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. Yo. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Well, screw you. Hello? <laughs> Sup? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. Makes sense. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage. Uh. Like you're some feral animal. Javier. Pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Oh my god. Now, let's see about that wound. That's supposed to be sarcastic. Oh well. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <sighs> is that sandpaper? Like, come on. Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. I've never Triggered. understood it. Uh, Are you calling me pretty? <laughs> I was talking about Eli, the dead guy. Oh, yeah, good. Because I prefer dashing. Or debonair, maybe. Oh my god, stop! Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. <laughs> People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? That guy had it coming. Believe me. Karma, justice, you call it whatever you want. Fuck that bastard. Hey, okay. If you say so. Exactly. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. And my group's gone. Four of us. Oh shit. I'm sorry. If there's if there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but I know a thing or two about losing family. Is that it? Yep. Just awkwardly standing here. Hey, it's okay. You've done enough. <laughs> I hear you, but Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? Yeah, right. Sure, why not, dude? Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip. Wow. It's not right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. No, nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Dang, dude. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd. Get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your hmm. does need help, I'll be right there to give it. What? Seriously? When you do that for me. It's just it's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's She's something. The thing is, Jesus, Harvey, stop. Maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. Hmm. Hmm. Do 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 do
Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. Word. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. Now we die. See you. Oh God. What's happening now? Is this a flashback, dude? Is this a flashback? Pretty sure. Yo. That's good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. Kenny. Now just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now let's try shifting into second. Oops, I have to move, move over to it. Second, please. My lord, Clem, I think you might have left our transmission back there. I'm sorry, Kenny. Ha, ha, ha. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? Yes. You don't have to make the switch all at once. I don't know why we didn't pick an automatic. Because every car out there ain't an automatic. You need to be able to drive whatever you find keys for. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. Sounds good to me. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. Yeah, no kidding. Shorts. It's freezing outside. The sooner the better, for sure. No more winters ever again, Clem. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. You we better. ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Oh no, here we go. Switch it. Well, there you go. Yo! Well, time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clam. Hey, I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I. I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. Duck. You're the best second Dang chance it. I could ask for. Freaking Duck. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket? A duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but something. There's nothing wrong with AJ. He'll talk when he's ready. I know. Just a bit odd for a child, he said. How, how old is he now? Albert Einstein didn't talk till he was four, and look how he turned out. So probably two or something. Crap! Clem, no! Turn the wheel! Don't! Is it black ice or something? Is that what, what's happening right now? Probably. Oh, God, no. Kenny, please. No! Why? AJ? Oh God, you're okay. Where'd he go? Always wear your, wear your seatbelt, hey. people. Yeah, he's gone. Look at him. Kenny, I'm sorry. AJ, okay? Shit. Help me up. Will do. Hurry up! The walkers are coming! Dang it, Kenny! I don't... I don't feel anything. That's good. No. Clem, I don't feel... 
anything. I can't feel my legs. Oh no. I just can't get up. God damn it. Well, I, I can get you into the car. I don't. Shit. This ain't gonna work, Clem. Hey, hey! Stay away from him! You gotta go help AJ, Clem. I am letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. Oh my gosh. Go, now! <sighs> okay. Okay, kitty. Goodbye. Good. Go. Now, goddammit. No. Hey, dipshits. Come and get it. Well, like, at least you won't feel it, I guess. Well, never mind. Probably still did. Dang it, Kenny. You could have moved, man. You jerk. Gosh dang it. Freaking Kenny, man. One last uh, reminiscent memory of Kenny in this game. But no more.